Auntie and Uncle. Let's uh, continue with incredible young talent being identified nice and early. The International Arts Talent Showcase has been launching stars for the past nine years. Now an incredible record. And this year, no different as the event was filled with all the glitz and glam. And Mosa was there to capture all of the action. The International Arts Talent Showcase focuses on launching the careers of local South African and Namibian artists internationally. And it's been doing so for the past nine years. This weekend, hundreds of hopefuls, including singers, dancers, models, actors, and the list is pretty endless, take centre stage to impress international judges with hopes of taking their careers internationally. LCV, this amazing talent showcase is in its ninth year running. How and why did it come about? So in 2010, I started the International Arts Talent Showcase so that I can give back to South African and African talent what I never had as an artist. Tell us about the judges of this year. We've got Joey Hunter, former president of Ford Models, as well as the IMTA representative for the first time in South Africa. We've got the New York Film Academy, Blaze Johnson from The Voice America, Nate Butler, and then Raven Drummer, independent casting director for Tyler Perry Studios. So this is just a life-changing opportunity for South African and Namibian artists. It's ultimately important to understand that you need to be marketable. You know what, potential is more important than perfection. So ultimately we look for individuals who are humble, hardworking and absolutely determined. Joey, what makes an exceptional performer? I look for ladies and guys who really have a spark, a personality that they bring to the walk, that they bring to their dance versus being mechanical. I'm looking for those kids, whether it's actors, models or dancers or singers, that I can showcase at IMTA. Now at IMTA, we have over 300 managers, agents, producers, record people, casting directors that come to look for talent. You know, we found Ashton Kutcher, Evelyn Gorey, I mean, uh, so many people have come out of IMTA. It's the first time in South Africa and I'm overwhelmed. You know why? Because I can't believe they're so well trained. These kids, uh, like yesterday with the acting, I, I didn't see a, a bad performance. First and foremost, what I'm looking for is storytellers. People that get to tell the story, no matter whether it's dancing, singing, acting, musical theater, even modeling. There's so much talent on that stage that it's been really fun. The reason I love this platform is because there are very few events outside the United States like this. On a global mission to be able to take talent from a place like South Africa, where people think they can't do it from a third world country, to come to the United States and make it big. Um, that's the thing for me, that I get to see the trajectory. I think that the talent so far in this showcase have been phenomenal. This has been my third year coming and I must say like, to me this has been the strongest year yet. What lies ahead for artists and talents that actually make it through? I'm really excited to see these artists in America in July. If we have anything, any roles that come up, there's already one girl I gave a piece of material to audition for. I really am excited about auditioning them for any projects that we have. What do you think about this year's talent? I am truly blown away. Every single year it gets better and better and better. No shade to prior contestants. However, just looking at how people have prepared, how the skill level is phenomenal, people are ready here from South Africa to see the big stage in other places of the world. I'm so glad I'm here to be able to see what's going to happen next out of South Africa on the big international stage. It's phenomenal. What makes an amazing performer, a spectacular performer in your words? The best way to put it is they are uniquely being themselves. I want to see the next person who is uniquely flowing in the gift that was given to them. So most of the time you can actually see that in somebody, how they interpret dance, how they interpret song. And so that's what I'm looking for. You can always tell a person that's being themselves.
I love the fact that IMTA has like so many categories for models, so it gives opportunity to like plus size models, to fashion models, commercial models. I'm hoping that this will open doors for me today as this is the start of my journey. I'm feeling really, really good actually, um, well prepared. Um, I'm modelling today um, in front of an international panel. I want to win so bad because I've got a lot to do with, with the power that I'm going to get. I want to give back like LCB did. I've been in the modeling industry for quite some time and the exposure is not there and I just want to raise the, the people up with me. The artists that receive callbacks will have the opportunity to represent South Africa and Namibia at the International Modeling and Talent Association Convention happening in New York next year. We as Expresso wish them the best of luck.